There's one small item I meant to cover quite some time ago. It's very, a very minor thing, but it might be of interest to some. Uh, if you're doing some heat treatment and you've got to deal with tempering your material, I found this very useful. It's a little sandbox, that's what I call it, and it's only for small parts. Let's see if I can get a little bit more, a bit more light there, but maybe. Now you can see there I've got, I've got little pieces welded around the outside. They're only tack welded and that gives the support for the lid and then the rest of it is just very roughly welded together uh, to make a box. It's covered in scale because it's been used numerous times and we're not worried about a bit of scale and a bit of rust. And then the lid, nothing very complicated there, that's a piece of plate. This is all roughly about, uh, what I say, about 12 gauge, 12, 10 gauge. And a little handle tacked on top. And then inside, I just keep some silver sand. I don't think the sand is too critical actually. That's full of sand now, but of course you can take some out if you need to put a bigger piece in. And then uh, sit, sit the little lid on top and go ahead and heat it up. This one usually goes on a small propane burner. You could use a Coleman stove, anything like that, and uh, get it up to a good temperature. Let's say for sake of argument you want to get up to about 400 degrees. You can probably check the overall outside temperature with a, an infrared thermometer without having any temperature sticks. So we'll say you get up to about 400, 350, 400. And uh, having got your material given its, its, its main heat treatment, which leaves it over hard, uh, then we can put it in here for a slow cool and uh, get a bit of temper. Depending on the material, depends on the temperature, timing and everything else. But I'm just showing you that as a little, <laughs> a little gizmo you can make up. It works well.